Hey everyone, it's Eric here from My525XL. Today is Friday, September the 8th. Giving you another update on the tanks. Um, nothing spectacular really to talk about. I don't know how this video is going to turn out. I'm using my iPhone 14 this time, using the orange filter. I posted some pictures up on uh, one of the Facebook sites and they get, turned out pretty good actually. So I thought I'd try and do a video through it instead of uh, playing with all the lights. So. So here goes, um, put in a frag rack here. I did a uh, frag of that middle acropora there. Uh, just put them on the frag rack because these fish keep swimming around, knocking it over, knocking it off the rock. So I put it up there for now and we'll see how it goes. Um, the other frag that I did there is really growing nicely. So happy with that. It seems to be the right uh, lighting for it. I think more so than up top. Um, getting a lot more, I think, faster growth there. But anyway, I'll, I'll see how they both do. Um, everyone else in the tank is doing well. All the corals are looking pretty healthy. Uh, the recordias are really starting to spread out. I got another guy that sort of took off down around the corner here. Uh, green Slimer's got some good growth there on the top. Uh, that top branch going up to the left there is really starting to come out. Uh, creamsicle's looking good. The new, um, um, oh my god, I'll post the name here, my mind is just like mush. The one I got a couple of weeks ago is looking good. Um, bird's Nest, that's it. Uh, the Cherry Pop down there, slow growth, but it's going. Still got some color, which is great. The Space Invader's really looking healthy. Uh, the Tenter, I don't know if you can probably see the Tenter, sorry, the Sweeper Tentacles coming out there. Um, Everything else looks cool. Rock flower, pistachio, my favorite torch. Uh, banana volcano is really branching out, man. It's really, really liking that spot. So I'm glad I, I dropped it lower because it was bleaching out. Um, Fabio is looking good. And then also the, uh, sorry, I got some, this stuff on the side glass drives me bananas. I was using a razor to get it off and I'm petrified of hitting the rubber on the side. So um, anyway, the, uh, what do we call it? Zoas are looking good. This guy's really growing out a lot faster than this one did. This is probably twice as old, maybe three times as old, but this guy is just really, I don't know, flourishing. That rum cake acropora there, not, it's not doing much. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not freaked out about it, but it's just really kind of status quo. Not sure if it doesn't like that spot. I moved it a couple of times. It gave it a couple of months to get used to it, but it's not. I don't know, not doing much. Um, so anyway, so everything in the tank is doing well. The fish are doing well. Pretty happy there. Back in the fish room, as I call it, I um, cleaned out the bucket. I don't know what this water. Let me take this filter off here. Ugh, cleaned out this bucket here. Uh, I got to plug the pump back in to circulate the water, but I added some citric acid. I'll post here what I use uh, to clean the pumps. I also clean the bucket. Bucket is crystal clean now, rinsed it all out. Topped it off with some uh, RODI water again. So I'm gonna add that same bucket of salt in and uh, start the auto auto um, water changes again. I'm gonna do it right away. Uh, I appreciate everyone's posts on uh, the thoughts of why that was clouding up and getting all that debris in there. Um, I'm going to finish off this bucket and I might consider going to the blue bucket on the uh, Red Sea coral salt. Um, just going to test my last theory here about cleaning up the bucket and make sure it's all clean. So, yeah, we'll start those water changes probably maybe Saturday if I get the salt in here today and let it uh, mix properly. So, um, I also changed out this filter here. Because uh, it was almost all orange, this one will be the next one to go, but I'm just still got life here, so I'm not too concerned about it. TDS meter is reading zero, so uh, so that's pretty cool. So anyway, back out to the front. So before I forget, this is what I clean all my pumps with. Um, does a really good job. You just let the pump run for a day in it, and it comes out like new. That's what I ran in there at the bucket as well. Uh, everything came out pristine. So uh, if you guys are looking for some good cleaners for your pumps. Uh, this is the way to go. I've been using it for years. It's uh, really, really effective. All right, and then over here, as you can see, I'm a sci-fi guy. 
sci-fi all day long. Anyway, uh, over here on the uh, horse, horse, sorry, <laughs> I'm a little lost today. I'm struggling seahorse tank. Let's put the filter on, see if this helps. Uh, these two guys are doing really well. They've grown quite a bit uh, since I got them. Um, looking pretty good to me, I guess. No complaints. I think they're both females. I think I touched upon that uh, one of my last videos, but that's fine. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I just love watching these guys. They're such time wasters. Um, I plopped in one of the shells from the other tank from the 525 in here. Uh, I fixed off I put on or I glued on two pieces of acropora from that middle one that always grows on there but I think one broke off on the bottom seahorse is photobombing and then the other one's still on the top there the shell I'll see how it goes I don't know how it's going to grow in here uh, I don't dose anything in this tank at all it's just strictly nutrients from the salt and then doing water changes so um, we'll see how it progresses I'm not too freaked out if it doesn't I just thought if I can grow something in there for these guys to latch on to that would be great too um, after dosing the chemi clean to get rid of some of the algae on the bottom it is effective somewhat still got some on there as you can see but I can't turn on my skimmer because it just just overflows it's been doing that for over a week so um, I've done a couple of water changes already I might have to do a few more in order to get that back down to the levels where the skimmer won't be so upset so, so that's it on the seahorse tank it's pretty stable um, once I get that algae beaten, uh, the sand will be nice and white again, uh, but the seahorses themselves seems quite happy. Um, I feed them twice a day, um, uh, what do you call it, mysis shrimp. I have to Google and see what else I can give them. They must be getting tired of the same thing all the time. So um, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. I'm sure brine shrimp would probably do. Um, and I have lots of that that I use on the other tank, so I might just switch it up a bit and see how these guys like it. So anyway, that's... But it for the tanks today. Um, took a break for a week. I didn't do any posts last week. I didn't really have much to say. So as I say, I don't like post for the sake of po posting for the sake of just blabbering on. But I uh, just thought I'd give you an update this week on the tank and what I did with that uh, bucket of salt water there that was going all skunky on me twice. So we'll see how um, how it goes this time. One thing I did have to do actually is just change out the, uh, the reef mat. I did that today. Uh, pretty cinchy job. Um, yeah, can't say enough about that unit. It works really, really well. I'm still running the uh, skimmer during the day and then the torque during the night with the skimmer off with the carbon media in there, which I think I really need to change out. Uh, it's probably pretty old now, so it's due. And then the uh, CO2 media still got hooked up to the skimmer, kind of makeshift. Just connected some tubes there down into the intake, so. Um, Seems to be doing okay. I think the big thing is in the summer, you've got your windows closed because of the AC. So CO2 is hanging around the side, which drops your pH. And then again, you have the same challenge uh, in the winter, right? It's cold out, so you've got your windows closed. Same deal. So kind of hard to find that happy medium. Um, but anyway, it's about uh, 20 degrees here today in Toronto. So I've opened up a few windows and get some fresh air in here and let the pH go up. So... So yeah, that's it for me for today. Uh, nothing else really to go through. Everything's healthy. Um, just stability is the main thing like anything in this hobby. So um, yeah, pretty happy. I just wanted to take the opportunity to thank everyone that replied to my posts, uh, replied to my videos over the last week or so. I uh, really appreciate input. I try to respond to every one of them. Um, had some really good feedback in terms of especially the salt and the uh, skunky bucket. And then uh, also one of the uh, uh, folks that replied to the video was talking about setting up a refugium as well, uh, which I would like to do. Um, I'm, I kind of res responded back to the gentleman, but uh, I, when I look in here, there's no... I don't want to get rid of anything. <laughs> so setting up a refugium is almost like another sump, um, although I would really like to do it. I did run one in my old older 120. Um, I put Miracle Mud in there and I was growing sponges and everything. Oh, speaking of which, so here's something. Let's see if this picks this up. This stuff here, all this white stuff, it's like spongy. I have no idea what it is. It's just growing on top of the sponge. I'm wondering if any of you guys have ever experienced this as well. It's only in that area. It's nowhere else. It's not growing anywhere. It's not in the tank. 
I don't know if it's alive, I don't know if it's just gunk, but when you touch it, it's like rubber. So let me know your thoughts if you guys have experienced that at all. Um, really curious. It goes right across the top from one end to the other. Uh, really bizarre. It's been growing there for a while. It hasn't had any ill effects on anything, so I wasn't too concerned about it, but I am curious as to what it is. I don't know if it's live sponge or I don't know. It's it's like pure white. I, I, I don't think I've ever seen this before. I'm hoping, they, I'm hoping the camera will pick it up, but anyway let me know what you guys think uh, i would be curious to get your opinions i'm gonna google it but i don't, I don't know what to say white stuff growing on a sponge <laughs> i don't know <laughs> anyway uh yeah so back to the tank again uh just changed it the reef mat this morning so i got about i think two and a half months out of it i'd have to go back and check to verify but it's about two and a half months um but i swear by that thing it's really kept the uh the sump really really clean so happy with that Anyway, that's it for today. Uh, hope you guys are staying safe. Uh, questions or comments, leave them down below. Always love to hear from you guys. Again, thank you very much for watching. That last video I did got, I think it was almost 700 views, which shocked the heck out of me. But hey, if you guys are getting something out of this, I'm always happy to post. So, And thank you to the new subscribers. Um, yeah, today is Friday. Hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and happy reefing and we'll chat soon.